Leg locks for self-defense. No. So, self-defense is about getting away. I can't get away if I'm trying to break your leg or if I'm holding you in a leg lock. A lot of submissions that I've seen being taught, for some reason within self-defense, always finish with, and then they tap out. If something is presented to you, grab it, lock it, break it, move on. Getting someone to give up in a street fight or in a self-defense uh, situation, remembering that self-defense and fights are two separate things, getting someone to quit in self-defense doesn't work. Because I go, I give, I give, I give, I'm sorry. You let go. Fuck, do I? I'm right back on you. So they don't work. We shouldn't be going for them. And how the fuck do I get away and get my people away if I'm on the ground tied up with your legs? So for combat sports, they're absolutely fucking amazing. I'm a shamrock baby. I love fucking knee bars and heel hooks. However, for self-defense purposes, no. Again, if we're on the ground, it allows his mates to stomp our heads. We don't want to be on the ground. We don't want to be going for funny key uh, leg locks. They work for combat sports really, really well. They work in submission grappling really, really, really well. But no, for self-defense purposes, no leg locks.